Welcome to the Arkham Files, an actual play Call of Cthulhu RPG podcast. Featuring Seth Morrison as Tallahassee Turner. Say, hey, Billy, let's run out in the forest together. That worked out for me really well last time. Abel Morrison as Detective Billy McConnell. You've seen what we've seen. That dead light and the butthole monster. Donovan Bollard as Dr. Simeon Can't Stand Your Bits. What in the world? Where did you find that? Peter Morrison as Dominic Drunkard. We did establish there's no flamethrower, which is a crying shame. Sam Morrison as Major Frederick Aloysius Bakersfield. As soon as the going gets tough, the Tallahassee gets going. And I am your game master, the keeper of arcane lore, Alex Morrison. Now grab onto some dice and your sanity. Let's roll. Okay, so you guys get on the road. You drive back out to the main road away from the wreckage of the Russell Farm. And uh, Percival starts leading you um, north again, north and west, uh, towards the remnants of the old Motley Hill Sanatorium. So you're bumping along on this dirt road. Heading out this way. Uh, what are you guys doing while you're driving out there, BT does? Studying these pages. Calculating the parthenogenesis of this raid project. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, does somebody want to make a library use library use library. role? Do I? I'll do I will. I got the best. I'm okay, hold on. I got 70. I got 70. I got 70. I got 70. I got a I got a one, Pete. Pete, look. I got 65. I got I one. I got one. I got a 36. I got out an extreme 65. success. Make one. sure that Donovan didn't get P? a 100. Zero, zero, okay. one. That's not so. a zero, zero. That's a 10. No, that's that is zero, zero. That looks like an 80. Okay, this is a zero. <laughs> I punch you so hard in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I got a one. All right, Donovan got a one. Okay, so before you guys roll, which you would have heard. <laughs> <laughs> Had you not been freaking out and ignoring me, uh, you need to decide who's going to be the primary roller. I picked Donovan. If you're all <laughs> going to roll separately, <laughs> if you're all going to roll separately and assist one person, or if you're um, if you're all going to roll separately, or if one of you are going to roll and assist, and everybody's going to assist that person, and they will get bonus dice. All right, I rolled one. Okay, so everybody decide that and then roll again. <laughs> What is your library use? 70. All right. All right. We'll just give Donovan Donovan his one. (laughs) Okay. Good job, Donovan. You rolled a one. You succeed. (laughs) Extreme. All right, Donovan. And we're going to use our special house rule, which we've used in the past. I don't know if I've mentioned that to you guys, that that is a house rule. Um, What? That if you roll a critical success, then I let you add to your skill. Right. That's our, that's your house rule. Sweet. I like it. Do I I add it now? I, I rolled a one too. (laughs) <laughs> it's a one a in a hundred chance that that happens, which has shockingly happened fairly frequently. It's this a is a terrible point. house rule I've made. It's so, not of no, I actually shame. stole it from, I think, I can't remember where I stole it from. I think it was from How We Roll that he did that, and I thought it was cool. So I stole it from Joe, the keeper from How We Roll. Good, Good job, Joe. Joe. I like your game. Um, Joe who? Joe Mama. Oh, <laughs> 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 Joe Mama runs how we roll. You guys are both smoothies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take a hike, Joe. That's one, Sam. Mama. All right, just kidding. We love you. Uh, okay, uh, Donovan Frick. Roll a D10. Uh, you can roll a D10 and add that to your library. Oh, I think the original time that you had us do that, Alex, when I listened back to yeah. Corbett, you actually like cut it in half. Did I? Yeah. It's a D10? Well, I don't remember. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, go go back and listen. D10 I remember Abe getting to add roll. ten oh, yeah. points. This one. This one. Yeah, I gotta add a whole ten. All right, here yeah, we go. I'm rolling now. I'm rolling. That was a different thing. I man. got an eight. That he got an eight. Fine. All right, cut that in half. Damn it! Dang it! <laughs> Seventy. Um, I don't remember, to be honest. All right, we're driving Seth, along. Seth is probably right because that sounds a lot more reasonable. Well, I made the mistake because I did the same thing in Edge of Darkness, and I made the mistake of letting you yeah. keep the full ten, yeah, or whatever you rolled. And then I went and re-listened, and I was like, "Oh, Alex cut his in half. Whoops." 
Okay, let's do that then, if that's the, what we're doing. Yep, I cut mine cut in, half. in half. I got uh, 20 extra points. Okay, excellent. We're riding. Uh, Abe, you got the full 10. Abe, what you did is actually a set rule because you got that on your pow. On your opposed pow roll with the deadlight. Oh, right. If you remember. That actually is a set rule. If you beat somebody on a pow check when you're casting a spell, you get to add to your pow. Boom. Your power. Nice. Power. Um, That's built. Okay, oh, sorry. All right. So you guys are studying those notes in the car as you are driving. Riding around. So. Uh, McConnell yeah, you're driving along in your automobile. <laughs> no particular place to go. Um, you're heading out on these dirt roads. The sun is shining today. It it seems uh, just incongruous, kind of how nice and bright and sunny the day seems, considering what you are driving towards and what you are driving away from and what you are actually driving in the back of your truck right now. And so... Is that gory monster back there? Yeah, yeah it is. You guys know that's right. Have fun, guys. I, uh, I'm glad I'm driving the truck. Yeah, it's Tallahassee is currently spooning it with his yeah. diamond skin. <laughs> he I said bet that. it's getting all the gore all over. That's so it's like, where are you from, huh? <laughs> it's like, Rondo, I'm sorry, Rondo. <laughs> Let's put these guts back in Rondo, there. Rondo, I didn't know you were a eunuch. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count as a smoothie joke. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Um, anyways, so um, it's another. You guys drive for probably about another twenty minutes, or fifteen minutes, probably, and you see another turn off as you're driving, and you see a couple little kind of side dirt roads that are uh, pretty small, a little more than trails. But the next kind of real road you see turning off looks like it heads to another farm. Um. And there is a sign just at the uh, opening of that uh, turn off. Uh, you know, kind of like a fence that's blocking up their, you know, edging their property. Uh, there's a sign there that says um, Adams. Yeah, uh, Adams family. Leading off to what looks like another farmhouse and another farm out there uh, as you guys drive past. Wait, did we go to the wrong farm? No. Farm. You were looking for the Russell farm, and that's where you went. Oh, farm this is just another farm that's out here on the outskirts. Let's go kill us another smoothie. Uh, <laughs> that's one. So, uh, you're driving. Uh, it's another probably... So, from the Russell farm as you're going, it, you probably hit about 45 minutes or so, give or take. Um, when you start seeing the imposing outline of the old Motley Hill sanatorium coming up over the horizon uh, in the distance. Uh, as you're getting closer, you see it's an older stone structure that again is this kind of incongruous congruous, uh, incongruous gothic architecture that seems really out of place for the area out here. That obviously they built this place out here and it's probably well used back in the day and maybe had some high paying clients or so um, but obviously obviously a place where they took people to store them out of the way away from towns and cities and away from anyone that might embarrass them and alright I want you guys to roll a spot hidden oh, as you're pulling up well, actually, who's in the front? Me oh, yeah. and uh, <laughs> Percy was up Me and so, Percy. Yeah. He had or was a, he still in the back? Whatever, Don King probably had to come um, back. Uh, no, Jamie Percy was up. Uh, he was giving you directions. I guess yeah, Don King. Yeah. Well, I'm in the Dom, front. With... Dom, are you up here? Yeah. Yeah, so Percy's up front. Who else is up front? Dom. Dom? Yep. Dom. Okay. All right. Yeah, I got a 69, which is a success for me. I rolled a 31, which is a success for me. Thank you. Okay. Ooh. Is that your first success on a spot hidden? Um, Dondrin card? I believe it is. It's very possible. I don't know. I'm checking the spot. Check this box. <laughs> Hard stuff, Sam. Check the box. Okay. So as you're approaching... The sanatorium as you're getting up. You can see, you can once you're getting closer, you can see it's pretty run down. Uh, you see windows are broken out. 
Uh, some of the roof up here is caved in. Uh, it has some kind of bay window areas in the front and on the sides, and a lot of those roofs seem to be cracked. A lot of the stone structure is cracked on the outside. Um, but as you're driving up, you see out front there are actually two vehicles parked out in front of the of the building. Um, you recognize either of them? Uh, one of them is a Packard 26. Well, it's the black car we saw in the cemetery. Which is a pretty nice car, right? Todd Packard. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty decent uh, vehicle. That looks like the same um, car we saw at the cemetery. The other one is is a a truck. Not like a nice truck, but like a pickup truck. Know. Um, it's like a box truck. Um, so what do you do? I'm all top. All the vehicles release the demo. right in front where we would want to park. <laughs> so yeah, Percival, as you guys you guys kind of glance at each other, and Percival points at me. You you see those right up there? Yeah, I see. Ya. Are you? You're not expecting any help out here, are you? No, the we don't know any anybody out here. But that that uh black car looks like the one we saw at the cemetery when we were up there. It pulled in and then it drove off. Mm. So you, do you suppose these are the other the other people? <laughs> people. The other baddies. People. I don't know. You, my, uh, you, you uh, people. <laughs> Sound like Bill Maher. Do you believe that these are po uh, most likely the other interested parties? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that it's uh, the other people that have been poking around town, asking right. questions. Yes. You know, maybe associates of uh, or followers of the same thing that Corbett the uh, same associate. Uh, people. <laughs> people. People. Is there anywhere people. up here we can park that might be out of the, the same line of vision? thing? Maybe he belongs to approach uh, quietly. Yeah, I, I mean, is there any way to like pull off? Um, yeah, I mean, you could you could kind of pull off to the side. It is still fairly wooded, kind of out this way. It's clear on the road, and it's cleared out towards the sanatorium. But Lock there are some in. woods kind of off to the side. If you pull off. Well, I'm just going to pull over real quick and then uh, park the truck, walk around back, talk to the guys, tell them what's going on. Should we block the, the drive? Should we just drive in and confront them? Should we park and sneak in? What do you guys think? So oh, I say uh, get off of him. Yeah, sorry. I'm just, I'm done now. So uh, I think let's turn the truck around. Let's block them in, but let's face outwards. And then uh, who's got a knife? Go slash them tires. Get your machete. Oh. Who's got a machete? I've got a knife. I've, I've got a uh, machete. Uh, and then while I go in and see if there's any things to kill, uh, why don't one of you guys search search the box truck yes, and look let's, for a flamethrower? Let's thrower. freaking unleash Tallahassee Diamond Skin. I'm ready to be unleashed. Unleash All right, the so sounds like uh, we just want to drive in, confront them, try and box them in a bit. Turn that truck around, get it ready to go. Does it look like anyone's in the vehicles? You forgot to slash their tires. Um, it's hard to tell from the distance that you're at and the uh, position of the vehicles. All right, let me go check it out. <clears throat> so, you know, Tallahassee, I'm still an officer of the law, so I don't just, you know, go slashing tires for no reason. You will now. Mm -hmm. You listen to people Mr. Diamond Skin. Wait, so Billy, you're, you're you, won't, caps. you won't tolerate people slashing people. tires, but you will tolerate them drawing symbols on girls and letting them eat. Stop. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> Mr. Stand your bits. Just asking. Just curious. Want to know where this moral you, line you, is I, crossed. I can't take it anymore. I go running off. It should have been my forehead we drew the symbol on. <laughs> <laughs> I should have sacrificed myself. Billy, now I get it. But number one, we're not in your jurisdiction, Ooh, sucker. Uh, and number two, <laughs> take a Jeez. look in the back of our not truck. Look at this. Look at this thing I was spooning with. 
I mean, Seth climbs off the top. Billy of does quick. kind of have a point. We don't really have any uh, indication that the drivers of these vehicles are antagonistic towards us. What's the worst going to happen? They just need to fix their tire, and then they're on their merry way. Well, we could create a confrontation where there need not be one if we just drive up and stab the tires. We could strand them and leave them as bait for the monsters. Uh, <laughs> by accident. Fine. Yeah, if but if they, the more they eat, the more they breed, so maybe that's a bad idea. Yeah, yeah the more they breed, the more they eat. <laughs> Fine. All right, I'll go in first in case there's trouble. I don't mind the idea of boxing them in. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, have a box slashing off. the tires may be a little bit. No, I'll just slash the tires for sure. All right, well, All right we're going to go confront them. So everybody back in the truck. I'm not getting back in the truck. You get back in the truck. I, th I thought you parked and okay, I get back in the truck around. and uh, start driving. Okay, so you guys are just driving up? Yeah. Can I okay. search the cars? But as we get close, I, you know, I'm going to look and see if there's anybody at the cars. Um... Uh, yeah, as you're driving up, you don't see, you can't see anybody in the vehicles. Um, but as you do start getting closer, um, you do, you do see a couple men step out from behind the box truck and, you know, you take a look around at you guys approaching, um, since they hear the vehicle coming up. Ahoy there! Um, <laughs> it's see you Eleanor Dash it uh, uh, These two guys, uh, they kind of look at each other um, and, and start, you know, obviously kind of having a, a hurried conversation. And then one of, the, one of them rushes inside the uh, sanatorium. Now he has to get him. Ah, show him your diamond skin. Um, so you guys keep driving. Uh, you keep pulling up. You see the guy, he kind of, he's, he's watching you and he kind of takes up position behind the uh, the hood of the truck uh, leaning over it and he's got his hand you see he's got kind of one hand on the truck and one hand is is down at his side as he's watching you come up mm -hmm. so it is uh, the drive big enough to flip a Yui um, it, yeah it could be once you kind of start pulling up there's a, a kind of a big you know grounds yard area in front of the sanatorium as you're pulling up Okay, so without getting too close, I'll flip around, uh, kind of block the drive the best I can, and then, uh, you know, then Tallahassee bursts out of the back, and then I'll let Tallahassee get oh, out of the truck with his diamond, diamond gleaming sure. glory. Okay, so you pull around, Tallahassee, you climb out of the back of the truck, uh, you see the guy uh, standing behind the uh, the hood of the truck, and he's kind of... He's kind of looking around nervously. He's looking at you, and he keeps kind of looking back towards the door of the uh, of the sanatorium as you approach. Um, as you get closer, he he looks at you and he says, uh, "All right, now uh, you uh, you you hold it right there. I uh, don't 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 come any closer. You wait just a minute, all right?" Uh, howdy, sir. Uh, I don't know why uh, you got that sort of attitude. We're just poor lost travelers. Wondering if there's any town around near here. Uh, yeah, there's a town. It's it's back to where you came. So why don't you hop back in your truck and, and, and take off, get on out of here? Would you say there's nothing there's for, for miles? There's nothing for miles. Well, then there there's will be no one here. to hear you scream. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he gets quite the alarmed look on his face when you say that. <laughs> I walk closer to him and I say, uh, and he, he 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 leans towards the uh, the door or the. Uh, uh, actually, Tallahassee Turner, why don't you roll an intimidate check on that? <laughs> All right, let's see. What is my intimidate? Fifteen. Nine. I'm gonna give you a bonus die on mm. that because uh, that was pretty good. All right, I got a ninety-four on the first one, so. <laughs> <laughs> Four! Oh, Boom! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. sorry. Nice. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Nice work, Tallahassee Turner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah, he looks uh, noticeably freaked out, and he, he uh, kind of backs up a little bit and, and, and uh, looks towards the, uh, the door of the sanatorium, and he's like, 
Uh, hey, 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 boss. Bo boss, you, you better get out here. You, you better get out here, all right? Uh, please? <laughs> Does he have, uh... There's a guy out here. I think he, he means business. Can I see if there's anything in his hands yet? Am I close enough? I want to keep walking for it towards him. Yeah. Um, as, he, as you're coming towards him, you see he's reaching down, like, inside of his... He's got kind of a long coat, and he's reaching down inside of his coat, and it looks like he's probably got a gun down at his hip that he's got his hand on. Okay. He's like, oh, well, you just, just, just hang on, just, hang, just, 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 just wait one second. All right, I'm gonna pull out my 45 and point it at him. I'm gonna say, now, now, calm down there, sir. We don't need to cause any trouble. Let's just keep so everything from friendly. the. Hassie, what are you doing out there? From the doorway of the sanatorium, you hear a voice call out that says. <clears throat> All right, all right. None of that is necessary, Mr. Turner. I shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> I yell from the truck. Here we are, boss. Just kidding. Sorry, Here keep going. We are boss. All right, roll firearms. <laughs> uh, I've gotten out of the truck. There's as no well. need to resort to that. Let's put that away and and why don't we just have a little. Discussion before we resort to violence. Now, do we recognize and, uh, this guy? So, walking out of the uh, out of the sanatorium, you see uh, a average sized man, uh, average appearance. He's got brown hair. He's wearing a long gray coat with uh, with a and he's wearing a suit underneath that. Gray slacks, gray vest, white shirt. Um, he's very nondescript. Hmm. If he looks as if is if this guy went to a casting call for extras, they would send him home for being overqualified. <laughs> Does it look like his suit is made of drugs? <laughs> um, on closer inspection, it's made entirely out of drugs. <laughs> The um, no, that's a Simpsons reference, everybody. Yeah, I don't get that <laughs> reference. <laughs> does, um, We've used that one a few times, a suit of drugs. Does he look familiar to anybody? I mean, he seems to know who Tallahassee is. Um, He does not look familiar to anyone. And honestly, you're not even sure if you would remember him if you had seen him, since he is so very forgettable. Uh, as he walks out and he says, Wait, are we all are we all out of the car to just Tallahassee jump I out? I got out of the car. As far as no, I know, I just Tallahassee did. All right, I'm gonna start poking my head out because I hear this weird. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I got out voice. of the truck. I got out of the truck too. Yeah, yeah I climb out. I mean, given where they are, yeah, I just walk back to the back of the truck. Okay, is anybody still studying the uh, stuff in the back? That would be you can't stand your bits. No, it was drunk card actually. Um, yeah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I was not studying um, the stuff. I mean, you can get up and <laughs> leave it, and we can. You're redact the one into your smoothies, man, not me. You, why did you roll the library use if I was the one doing the library? Oh yeah, I did the library use. Alex, that was an extreme success, yeah. bro. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I learn? You're learning it as we speak. Plus, you gotta add points to your score. Yeah. So stop yeah. complaining. I'm not complaining. Get to the back of the bench, bro. <laughs> I'm not a bench. Okay, so okay. <laughs> so I was waiting for this guy to finish talking, then I was gonna wave everybody forward, but we haven't gotten to that right. point yet. Uh, yes, as he uh, he strolls out, looking very comfortable. He doesn't at all look distressed uh, as he comes walking towards you, Tallahassee. I shoot him. He says, "I do believe that we are at, so we say, cross purposes here, but I don't think that." That means they have to be antagonistic, though. I don't understand so a word you're we... saying. <laughs> uh, I'm asking maybe we perhaps we should all put down the firearms and have a discussion. A polite discussion, one that doesn't involve shooting and blood. Why would you assume we're working at cross-purposes? Oh, uh, here, this is uh, my, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Drunkard, yes. What? Okay, hold up a sec. How do you know us? Who are you? What are you wearing? Well, uh, you might say that uh, I was uh, disclosed upon your information 
Some people may have had their eye on you since your very exciting debut back with the uh, Corbett incident. You seem to know our names, but uh, we don't know yours. Uh, you may call me Goodman Gray, is what they call me. Gray, if you will. Like your suit? <laughs> <laughs> yes, like my suit. Precisely. And why would you say we're working at cross purposes? Are you uh, an associate of uh, Mr. Bernard Corbett, then? I am not. But I am an interested party in his, uh, shall we say, research. Well, can you tell me then why you guys were so skittish to see us pulling up? Like, why is this man trying to pull a gun on me? And I had to intimidate the crap out of him. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I suppose we could prevaricate about the bush a bit more, but... Uh, I believe we all know what we're here looking for, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Smoothies. I had hoped, with all the advanced time we'd had, that we would be able to discover this location long before you ever got here, but we seem to have lost our leads and our... and had to resort to, well, combing the countryside, if you will. Took quite a bit longer. Have you found anything? Well, we believe we found something here, and I believe you have also, or else you wouldn't have found your way here as we have. So while he was talking, I uh, climb in the back of the truck, and, you know, as he's talking, I get behind the little monster, mm-hmm. and I pick it up, yeah. and I put it up back of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> like a marionette. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> start, start waving it around. Uh, this is uh, this is my Uncle Bernie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Who came out to stay the weekend. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Keep a straight face trying to see that. Really, I need to study that. (laughs) 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 Open it, close it, it's mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Goodman Gray (laughs) cocks an eyebrow and says, Oh dear. (laughs) Is this. All right. Uh, is this? Are you actually doing this no. building panel? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I didn't really. <laughs> so you may be s- um, you you say we may be working at cross purposes here, but um, I mean, putting all of our cards on the table, so to speak. Even if we want the creatures eradicated, and you, for some reason, maybe want to preserve one, I don't think them rampaging the countryside and destroying the population benefits either party. I would say uh, there may be some uh, advantage to sharing information between the two of us. Um, Dom Drunkard, why don't you roll me a, let's see, a charm? All right. Yes. Maybe a charm roll? Yes. You got a high charm, don't you? Yeah, I uh, I have an 80 charm. I rolled a 40, so a um, hard oh, success. Geez. I mean intimidate. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. No. All right. Um, and he looks at you and he says, Well, Junkard, I do believe you had my sentiments exactly. So what did you find here? Well, we haven't been here very long, but we do believe we found the lair, the nest, perhaps. We know the creature is here. Um, this place is run down, as you can see, mostly destroyed. I don't know why. Maybe it, it just took refuge out here, getting away from a population center. I don't know why I chose here, but perhaps just for shelter, but... It appears to have burrowed underneath. 
to create some sort of tunnels and warrens for it. And it's burgeoning brood, which we've seen some evidence of and we are quite alarmed by, and was not what we were expecting to find. Well, then I think we better set up some booty traps. Booby traps. Booby traps. That's what I booby said. Traps. I said booby traps. <laughs> <laughs> I brought some dynamite. I brought some Molotov. Um. Yes, and like you said, Drunkard, I, I do believe that l- allowing these creatures to rampage about the countryside is not in anyone's best interest. Way to go, you so, big drunk. Culling the herd, so to speak, I believe is in all of our interest. And mayhap we could work together to that end to achieve such. And when we have culled and reduced the numbers, I suppose maybe we can renegotiate. I believe that sounds like a preferable option to us as well. Can you uh, tell... Um, based on what you've said, it seems the the creatures are not in residence here anymore. Can you tell how long it's been uh, since any of them were here? No, I believe they're in residence as we speak. Yeah, I thought he said they were. They dug some oh, tunnels okay. underneath and they're living it's there. The nest, bro. I he was yeah, you remember they're nocturnal, so they just hiding out there. The well, day. we happen to have a Molotov cocktail. Well, <laughs> let's let's hold on, well. Donovan. Don, Shall st- we? Um, well, well, hold on. Can I ask the guy to come help me with the uh, with the uh, body? Well, we don't want to tell him we have a body yet. We uh, use what do you mean? Bargaining. McConnell yeah. just held it up like a puppet. <laughs> Let me just see. He didn't really do that. <laughs> uh, well, he didn't say he didn't. <laughs> well, well, why don't you show us inside and and uh, so I whip open the back you... of our truck and be like, hey. Uh, you. <laughs> it's already <laughs> wide open. Check out this body here. <laughs> uh, you you look like you have a beautiful body, <laughs> doctor. I've heard I've heard tell of it. Yeah. No need to do any dances for us. Well, Save I will. For later. I will button my shirt back up. Then, why don't you come here? <laughs> check this out real quick. I've been uh, studying this this uh, this creature. Uh, Mr. Gray, how many uh, men do you have at your disposal at this time? Uh, I have a good number. There are some inside as we speak. I have. Uh, there are five inside here. The one here, and I have a, a number more back in the town. We've been here for some time. As I said, we we had to bring up a a reasonable number of uh, employees to comb the countryside. Ask him if he knows the mayor. Oh, <laughs> uh, do you know the mayor? The, the mayor. Are you friendly with? Well, him? I mean, of course, everyone in town has met the mayor. He is uh, quite exuberant. What is your organization? You say a lot of employees. <laughs> What is this organization? <laughs> I don't think that is of you don't think a great consequence, you, Mr. Turner. You don't think your business is And also of not any the most uh, pressing matter at the moment, considering we are standing atop literally a pit of death. So, without further ado, if maybe we could readjourn inside to explore a bit further what our current condition might be. Should I grab the flamethrower? Can we do a psychology so, check uh, to see if he's is, gonna? Does he seem like he's on the up and up? Like that's what I was gonna doing say. Doing all this conversation when he's like talking about joining forces. Oh, he's and on stuff the up and up. Me. Can I tell if he's being okay. on the up and up? Uh, you have to roll a psychology. Yeah. All right, I'll roll a psychology. In soy shell. I got a twenty-one out yeah, of forty-five. 61. Success. Yeah, Seven. I got a 54 out of 75 if anybody well, wants you to know use you guys my had this idea. Dr. This is Simeon, my idea. You're stop, still in the back of the truck Stop getting in on my, my Look, ideas. Look, we can all Bob's tell he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, who and is all up there? Obviously, he's Drew carrying a puffer jai baby. Did you guys come walking up? I said I got out of the truck, but I never said I actually walked up there. <laughs> I'm listening from afar. That guy's a liar. <laughs> 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 uh, so who succeeded? 
I, uh, everybody, Billy McConnell, you succeeded since you were the one who suggested it and rolled. So, well, it's, it's. I mean, you know, it's obvious he's being evasive about some of the things you're asking, which is obvious from his responses. Right. But you, you haven't gotten the feeling that he is he's being disingenuous about anything he said so far. About working together? Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't appear to be lying. It appears, I mean, from your conversation, the things he hasn't, if he if it was something he didn't want to tell you, he's he seemed to have just not told evaded. You. Yeah, gotcha. evaded the question rather than out and out lied. All right, should we? Uh... Um, sort of. Well, um, he, he doesn't seem like he's lied about wanting to work together. Right. Was there something that uh, kind of caught my eye that maybe he was lying about? Um, you, you suspect he might he might know the mayor better than he is implied the mayor is a member of the organization I think he's he and the mayor buddies alright um, part of the league of shadows well I don't know about the rest of you but I would like to see what is inside this building okay are you sure you want to go in there and see I mean uh, they uh, you know, these things are like killers. Well, that is why I'm here. I don't, I don't know if I've told you this, but they're not the only killers out here. Dun, dun, dun. McConnell, this is what I do. All right. So, gentlemen, I don't know about you, but I, for one, want to see what we have inside. Let's go check it out. All right, you go first. So stay out here if you <laughs> wi- if you will, or. Come with me, but either way, snap too, gentlemen. So Percival starts uh, heading inside. Uh, Goodman Gray just kind of tips his hat at him and shrugs as if to say, yeah, all right, and follows him inside. Are the rest of you guys going in? Well, I was trying. I, am, yeah. Wait, who's I was the trying one to said the thing about the killer being the killer. That was Percival. Oh. Yeah, Goodman Gray has an English accent like this. <laughs> when did it switch? Like, when did we switch character? Percival was the one who came up and said, "Well, if you gentlemen aren't having a, uh, having a good time speaking out here, then I'm going to head inside." Okay, that's what I missed. I didn't. I didn't have any idea that Percival was all, all, all like all of a sudden right next to us. Wait, is Percival helping no, me with the body? Was kind or of climbing or out of the vehicle. Everybody kind of just was out of the vehicle all of a sudden. So if you guys can do it, I don't know why I can't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I said I got out and walked I know. to the back of the You're truck. You're the only one. <laughs> yeah, I, I said that too. All right, I follow or Percival. He did. Well, when I was hoping we could like huddle for a second, because cl- <laughs> and come up with some sort of star idea. formation. Well. Ninja, you guys here. can you guys can huddle up in a star formation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, obviously, can we do the flying V as we enter. Flying V, flying V. I say we all go in flying V. I mean, the flying V I thought was implied. <laughs> we always go in flying V. I get to be Goldberg. <laughs> all right, huddle up, huddle yeah, up, Tallahassee. What do you got to say? All right, all I'm trying. First of all, I was going to ask uh, Percival if he knew who this guy was, because that's that's partly why I was confused. If Percival was already over there, because I wanted to huddle up with our team, uh, I want to find out. Never if he knows seen this him guy. before in my life. He says as he's walking inside. <laughs> <laughs> but also, clearly, this guy has an ulterior motive, uh, meaning like well, I he's mean, scheming. Yeah, he wants to at least capture yeah, I think one. It's obvious. He he wants to corral the the monsters and take them back to his organization. Right. That's which, his goal. Which at least one or two of them, but maybe not the whole herd. He seems, you know, like he wants to get rid of a bunch of Which them. we have to completely prevent, is my right. point. Agreed. Our yeah. plan is to use them to destroy most of the herd and then double-cross them at the last moment with some clever ruse. Shh, shh. <laughs> Keep it down. Okay. Drunk I'm going to walk back to the truck for a small box real quick. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> that's actually not a, a terrible not idea small. to just let it loose it's down in, is, the It's in a backpack, though, right? You can just toss it on your mm-hmm. back. Let's uh, draw the symbol on Goodman Gray on his forehead, and then we'll let it loose in the catacombs to destroy all of the anthropophagi, and then Goodman Gray at the last We've moment. got a solid plan going. We will have a... I mean, Billy McConnell can use... The uh, 
that spell he knows to get Goodman Gray to agree to let us draw the symbol on his forehead. And tie him up. And t- <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> and, hey, and hey Bill, you remember that spell, you know? <laughs> I've got a real good idea. Let's, uh, will you please use your spell to convince Goodman Gray to let us murder him? Oh, yeah. You know, my conscience is pretty much gone at this point, so let's just kill everybody. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll go back. We'll get, we'll get Ike Watson. Is that fair? Are you done scheming yet, <laughs> gentlemen? <laughs> Can we draw a symbol on your forehead? Hold on, hold on. Tallahassee, go get the killer box. Okay, so uh, what are you guys doing? Yeah, are we going to go in? Yeah. Let's go in. Well, we don't want to. So, Tallahassee, did you really go back to the truck to get the box? No, not yet. Uh, I just, we can't leave anybody alone, so we don't want to leave can't stand your bits in the truck why don't himself. why don't we want to leave can't stand your bits in the truck so he doesn't get killed by don't worry team. about him he, he never stays in the car <laughs> Sammy can't Sammy <laughs> can't stay in the car he'll follow us um if you are all done with your scheming shall we head inside with your uh rather aggressive American gentleman gentlemen I don't hate the idea of bringing the box I don't think it's a terrible idea to let the deadlight loose in the catacombs. Want me to grab the box? I'll grab the box. Yeah, go grab the box. I got the box. You got the box? <laughs> I got the box. All right, we got the box. Oh, hey, guys. Can't stand your I bits. I got the box. Are you guys back discussing this with, with the doctor? Or? No. No. All right, let's go inside. Uh, I don't think we should let the box loose if right now if that's our plan. Let's let's just go in the building. and I've got my shotgun with me. My Colt M1911, and of course, old reliable. And, and, I grab a stick of dynamite. Let's just go in and find out what's going on, but I just didn't want to leave Simi in the back of the truck either, and I wanted everybody to be aware of this guy's scheme so we can be on our uh, toes and not let them have any live monsters. I'll stay, I'll stay and study and make, and make sure this, uh, this goon doesn't touch um, the body or our stuff. All right, do we really want to leave Simi alone? No, come in with us. Well, do you guys really want to leave all our stuff out here with this guy? No. Well, let's bring the, the whole truck the inside. Whole truck. <laughs> <laughs> I climb in, I drive the truck inside the building. <laughs> Just plow through the... Well, maybe we Can have we lock the truck at all? One other person stay out with Simi, and then the rest of us go inside. So just as everybody's kind of packing everything up and you guys are pulling out all your weapons, getting ready to head inside, Goodman Gray is kind of standing by the door, tapping his foot. Finally, your calculations come out to a conclusion, Dr. Simeon. And from what you can deduce from their reproduction rate, given that if this creature escaped on June 27th, and it has been 12 weeks since then, that give or take one or two, you are looking at most likely 43 of these creatures. Good grief. I mean, I knew that. Hey, guys. Well, uh, this is too, let's this go. Is too much, guys. I quit. <laughs> All right, guys. If this is their nest, I think we should just throw a dynamite down there, a Molotov. I want you guys to roll a listen check. Oh, dang. Oh. Horse feathers. Yeah, 41. Oh, I rolled an 8. Yeah. I rolled an 89. I hear nothing. I rolled a hard success. I rolled a 98. The breakdown, Dr. Simeon, is there's probably four fully grown adults, at least 20 adolescents, and maybe 19 or so of those smaller infant type creatures. Like the ones we killed? Like the one one you killed killed already. So wait, four adults, 20 adolescents, and what? And maybe 19 or so of these small infant type creatures. Baby like sharks? Like the one you already killed. Whoa. So I don't want to tell, I, I, I don't really trust this um, Good Gray. Goodman Gray. I don't, I don't trust Mr. Gray, so I kind of t- bring everyone inside. It's like, oh, hey guys, come well, here. You guys are all kind of in the back um, of your truck, and everybody was kind of packing up stuff. That's true. Um, guys, before we go in there, I think you guys should know what you're getting yourself into. I just did all the calculations, and it turns out there's going to be about 43 of these things. 
if my calculations are correct, which they are, that means there's four adults, 20 adolescents, and 19 baby sharks. Do, 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 do. Guys, this is too scary. I quit. Ah, we can't handle that many creatures. Okay. Major Bakersfield and Billy McConnell. Um, from inside the sanatorium, uh, at some distance, you start to hear what you believe sounds like screaming. Human or monster? Human, from what you can tell, though you can't be certain. Male or female? Yeah, male or female. Male. <laughs> or smoothie. You hear what sounds like men screaming. So more than one man. And you see Goodman Three, Gray. Your um, once this starts, you see Goodman Gray kind of just whip his head towards the uh, the door. Hey, quiet, quiet. Listen up, fellas. Listen. Can you guys hear that? He takes a couple steps towards it and opens up the door and looks inside. That doesn't sound good. There's some bunch of screaming coming out of there. I throw the Molotov into the building. No, you don't. I open the box. Okay. No, you do not. Uh, the deadlight consumes you. What... So does it sound like it's getting closer? <laughs> or yes. can we just... Yeah? Yes. Uh, all right, fellas. Let's get, get in the up. truck. Let's get in the truck and get out of here. <laughs> we got to go right now. Percy! Percy! Um, we're just going to... Get back yeah, in the truck. Let's Percy. go! Percy, we gotta go now! Um, it's for the first time since you guys have met him, you see Goodman Gray looking somewhat indecisive as he's looking in the door and kind of looking back towards the trucks or towards the vehicles. Um, he's ta taking a couple, he takes a couple steps inside. You can kind of see him looking around. Um, what are you doing? Hmm. Well, yeah, I... Did Percy come out? Uh, not yeah, yet. Yeah, Percy, how far in is he? You, did, you guys didn't see, you just went in and he shut the door. Say. Oh, he shut the I door. I look at, well, hold on, I look at Goodman Gray and I look at him and I say, what did you do? What did you do? Because they were obviously in there before, well, so Goodman Gray, what did you do? So do we have the Molotov cocktail still hanging out? Oh, I got <laughs> it, it's mine. Yeah. We've got to uh, help Percival at the very least. That's what I was thinking. Somebody get the car. The the right. truck running and we'll go extract. Somebody go Percy yell at uh, yeah. Building. Go yell at Percy. I'm gonna run, t turn on the truck. Okay. Back it up as close okay, as. Okay. Me can. and Tallahassee yeah. and uh, Bakersfield run towards the front to get. Yeah. Bring your dynamite. Bring the Molotov. Let's uh, scorch this place if we have to. Um. You see, uh, Goodman Gray. He he leans back out and talks to the other to the guy that out there and he says, "Stop! Stop the truck! Start it now!" So the guy, oh, well, well, yeah, boss, you got it. And he runs over, jumps in the truck, and starts it. He starts kind of wheeling it around. Um, uh, Goodman Gray is looking around. You see him kind of whispering some things under his breath. I uh, want you guys to make a, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Who's, uh, who is where at the moment? I'm in front, always. I'm in the front of the truck. I'm right behind Tallahassee. Are you driving? Uh, yeah. I okay. jumped in the truck. Dom is right behind up. Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. Who ran towards We're the door? We're running up the steps toward the door. Me, or the four of us, you the only one who went All four of you truck. went towards the door? Okay. Tallahassee is in front. I'm right behind him, and we're rushing towards the door. And we're yelling for Percival. Percival! Get, Get out, out of there! You got to go. Get, dang it, I was going to make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys, so now that you guys have, they pointed it out, and um, who's up, who's, sorry again, who's up in the, who's going inside? All four of them. I'm the only Tallahassee. One the okay. Yes. <laughs> All right, you kind of, you, you kind of start walking past Goodman Gray. He's kind of mumbling something under his breath as you go, uh, Walking near him, you hear the screaming getting louder and louder, and it's coming from downstairs, from underneath your feet. Uh, as you push open the door, you see straight ahead of you there is um, uh, the door opens up, and it is uh, it is a very rundown old building. To your right, immediately you see what was probably the reception desk um, in a small alcove. There's still the remnants of the desk and a chair and some shelves behind it. Uh, straight ahead are stairs leading up 
there's a, a this is kind of a a, a waiting room slap kind of like admittance room there's some broken down chairs in here there's some stairs leading down and some stairs leading up there's a door to your right and a door uh, on the wall up to the left near the stairs that are heading down um as you're listening you hear the screams from coming from downstairs underneath you in the wooden floor beneath you coming from down the stairs the stairs kind of lead down into darkness um you hear gunshots ring out um from beneath you uh as the sounds seem to be getting closer and closer to the stairs what do you do I draw both of my guns both my handguns my Colt 45 and my 38 I've got the stick of dynamite in my hand and the lighter in the other I'm ready to just light it and toss do we so is it too dark to see like do we need a uh, light source do we need a flashlight or something um, not in the room that you're in there's a, it's it's well lit enough there are enough windows and the doors open um, the the uh, the stairs leading down. Uh, you see it leads down what looks like to a room down below. It's somewhat dark, but um, uh, you can't really see anything in the room down there. It looks like it, it opens up to both sides and then goes straight back to a wall. Okay, I'm going to head down. And the whole time I'm calling for Percy. First of all, we got to go. Where are you? So, Tallahassee, as you're heading down, as you start to head down the stairs, you do finally hear somebody yell back what sounds like Percival's voice. Run! We gotta make like a tree and get out of here! <laughs> and swinging around the edge of the, of the, the wall the, where the staircase terminates down below you, you see Percival as he comes tearing around. He has a handgun in his hand and he's firing behind him as he goes. And he looks up at you and he says, Sing. Run! Go! I light my stick of dynamite and I throw it behind him. Simmy, ready that Molotov cocktail. Okay. Sam, I hope you, I hope you have a good throw. <laughs> yeah, do you have a good throw? <laughs> I'm, I was going to run down a, close to where Percival is so I can cover him while he escapes. I've only got a 20. <laughs> You're going to get yourself killed. Who's, do either of you guys have Tallahassee. a good Tallahassee, you're no, going to get yourself killed. I'm running down... To where close to where Percival is, and I'm gonna cover him and walk backwards so that I can let him escape and I'll follow behind. Are you trying to get yourself killed? No, but Are you I sure have you don't wanna fit like hide under the, the window. You get ripped in the apart. The um All right. uh, coming no, up behind need... with Percival, there's another there's uh there's two guys that are a little bit behind him. There's one that's that's pretty close to Percival and he's running. Uh, he runs up Tallahassee. And he, as as he's passing you, he he grabs your shirt and starts pulling you along with him. And he says, "Go, go!" Simi, light the Molotov and throw it down the hole. You want the Molotov or the? Or the Didn't you just say there's people behind Percy? Uh, there is. There's one that's that's right close next to him as he's coming up the stairs and he's grabbing Tallahassee, and then there's another one kind of down at the bottom of the stairs. It looks like he's coming around as you speak. Okay. I'm going with him, but I'm kind of keeping my eyes, obviously, back towards where the monsters are coming from. Okay. Just to um, give some sort of cover. Okay. As as you're you're kind of backing up the stairs, um, the guy at the bottom of the stairs he turns around and looks behind him and has just enough time to scream before a creature pounces on him that is at least two to three times the size of the one you saw before. It's enormous. It's probably seven to eight feet tall as it lands on top of him. Claws digging into him. He's screaming as the enormous mouth just comes down right over the top half of his body. Another one lands next to him and grabs his arm and starts biting onto that as well. This one looks to be just as big as the one behind it. You hear the sounds of other, you don't know how many noises and creatures coming up behind those two. I throw my Molotov now. Yeah, I turn and say, go, 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 A go, third go. one comes around and glances dynamite. up, and Tallahassee, just before you turn, you make eye contact with its dark, dead eyes set in its shoulders. 
Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hell to the king, baby. <laughs> you want to make smoothies later? <laughs> what do you do? Um, Sammy says he throws his Molotov, and I think the rest of us are running for it. Okay. Dominic is running. Maybe you can just door. roll it. So, Doctor Simeon, where are you trying to roll? Where are you trying to throw? I'm trying to throw it on, like down the stairs, on top of the three. Okay. So now r- make your throw roll. I think we're just trying to cover the escape so that we have more time to get out of here. Yeah. What if we? Whatever you're doing, make it quick. Pass. Everybody, stop discussing it. Do it. Roll your dice. Tell me where you're throwing it. Roll your dice. <laughs> You do not have time. These things are coming eight. around the corner. I got an eight. I got a freaking eight. <laughs> I got an eight. I got an All eight. All right, Dr. <laughs> Simeon. Yes. Somehow yes. digging down into your little league roots, even though you were always oh. picked last. You look down and you say, this is my time. My time down here. I'll show those Actually, guys. And the dreams you always had of pitching that no-hitter. <laughs> I don't like the look of In the World that, Series. Sam. For but once in your life, you make one perfect throw as it flies down and smashes right into the back of the creature that has clamped down its mouth over yeah. the top of the man below. As it breaks and shatters and fire sprays all over it, it leans back and screams, fire sprays under the one next to it. As it shrinks back a little bit, as does the one behind it, giving you maybe, maybe a little bit more time for the rest of you I'm a f- to make a break for it. Aloysius Bakersfield, where are you trying to throw your <laughs> stick of lit dynamite? Uh, in my butthole. <laughs> okay, well, how did you... I jam it in my butt, and I just let him take me down. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you with me. Um, okay. uh, I rolled an 83. Where were you trying to throw it? 20. I was trying to throw it behind everyone. Push the roll. Down the stairs? Yeah. Well, you can't back, push the roll in combat. the monsters. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to throw it back towards the stairs, like behind everyone that was running. Just okay. to make like it as far so as I could. So, so you can't spend luck and you can't push the roll in combat. Um, you might be able to spend luck, but I don't remember off the top of my head. But that's a that's like sixty that would be points like of luck. All my luck. Yeah, to spend on that. So you're almost crazy anyway. All right, so Aloysius, you're, you're trying survive. to throw that stick of dynamite down. Um. Uh, down on top, basically, roughly in the same area that Dr. Simeon threw his Molotov cocktail. Uh, but it slips out of your hand just as you're throwing it. Yes! It hits the ceiling at the top of the stairwell and drops at the top of the staircase right directly in front of all of you. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I ran after I tossed my Molotov. Yeah. Uh, Tallahassee, you Kick see it. a stick of dynamite fall right to your Kick feet it down as the stairs. you're just clearing the top step of the staircase. Football hike it. Kick it down you. the stairs. Yeah, kick it down the stairs. I turn and kick it. Um, I mean, oh, oh, there whoops. is a fuse on it, so it's not like it's blowing right away, but... Right, it's going to take a bit. Yeah, so uh, can I just kick it down the stairs? Yeah, uh, if you want to take the time or to do it. How much time? Can you just, like, slap it behind you as hard as you can as you're running past it? Well, either way, whatever's fastest, slapping it, kicking it. Kicking it seems like it would take longer because you'd have to, like, turn and kick. Whereas if you're running, you can just kick it back. Like that. Okay. Well, that's slapping, what slapping would be good. Oh my gosh. We don't have time for this discussion. Ninja slap the dang dynamite. Yeah. You make <laughs> Whatever is fast. Or just run. Which one, Tallahassee? Percy's still dragging you, trying to get you guys yeah, out just of there. Yeah, just run. Yeah, just run. Everyone just run. We run. Uh, we're pretty much out of the building by now, right? We didn't go very far into the building. All right. Weird. Um, okay, Tallahassee, do you want to do anything as you're trying to go by? Uh, if I can, I'll try to kick it down the stairs. Uh, okay, make. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> um, okay, make Shoot a it. fighting brawl. It's gonna be a. We're gonna call this a fighting maneuver. <laughs> What's your fighting brawl? Forty-five. Fifty. 97. Oh my god. Oh no. You step on the feet. It's a good thing you got the diamond skin. (laughs) You get blown up. He steps on the fuse and puts it down. Okay, so Tallahassee Turner, that's a fumble. That is a fumble. That's a luck. 
<laughs> you could spend some luck. Get out of, get out of fumble to range. To get out of fumble range. You only need to spend one, right? Isn't nine, nine, 96. Nine, six. No. Out of, so two? So three. You got to use three. Can I spend 47 to get a success? You can spend 47. <laughs> Luck do you have? Ninety. Do it. <laughs> I will spend forty-seven luck. Oh my god! Oh, for <laughs> You're really gonna spend Dude, I'm gonna forty-seven explode. luck to succeed in not knocking you... a piece of dynamite four steps away from you? I think you should just spend a few to get out of uh, fumble range, and you'll okay. miss it on your way, and you'll just keep running. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if I miss and. It explodes on me, or well, so I think. If you fumble, it something bad will happen. But if you just failed the, the the slap or kick, then you just, nothing. Well, we, we'll, we'll How much chatty, out? chatty. Let's make a decision. Yeah, let's make a decision, kiddos. What are you doing, right, Tallahassee? Yeah. That's up to right, you. you. Um, <laughs> that dynamite's right. got nothing on your diamonds. Skin. I'll I'll spend two luck or whatever it is to get out of to get out of fumble range. range. No, he's at 97. 96. Oh. So two, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you spend two luck, it'll get you out of fumble range. He <laughs> still fell. So, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so Tallahassee, you attempt to kick the piece of dynamite down the stairs as you go past, and you slip on the top step as you're doing it, almost sending you tumbling down towards the creatures below. But luckily, Percy grabs you at the last second and writes you on your feet to make the top step uh, just before you miss it and pulls you <laughs> closer to the door oh as you guys God. continue to sprint your way out of the building. Uh, Goodman Gray is gone from the doorway. Um, his other henchman you see is just ahead of you. Uh, they are both running out, and uh, Goodman Gray is is uh, looks to have he's climbed into the Packard Twin Six, and he started to drive. The other henchman is running and jumping into the truck. Well, wow, what are the rest of you doing? I'm running to the truck. Running to run the and truck. I jump in the back of the truck. Yeah, I'd back yeah. the truck up. Uh, as close as I could get it, and and looking out the window, watching them come out, and I'm pretty sure I see Tallahassee run out last, and it looks like Harrison Ford. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, I pull out Whatever the mounted that 50 was. cal. Impossible. Yeah. He hops on top to the mounted 50 cal and starts shooting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tallahassee, you start. Yeah. You yell, Percy. Yeah. He's waving. Percy's yelling, snap to! <laughs> as you book it, uh, Billy McConnell starts doing a rolling start as you guys are sprinting towards the truck. Um, all right, where is everybody? Dom the car, you guys are all running. Who jumped? Did anybody jump in the front or everybody just dive into the back? I dive in the back. I dive in the back. back. Okay. Yeah, we all dive in the back. All right. Everybody is sprinting. Billy McConnell, you start doing a rolling start as everybody is sprinting and dives into the back of the truck. And you hear the dynamite explode? There seems to be a moment of peace as you're just thumping along the road for a second. For just a moment, though, before the front doors of the asylum explode off their hinges and you see creatures almost piled on top of each other just swinging out the front. More, more large ones that are around the same six, seven, eight foot tall ones. Dozens of creatures that are smashing their way out the front. You see a bunch more of those little tiny ones. Well, not tiny ones, but the small ones that you shot before. As they come smashing their way out the front, there seems to be a slight hesitation when the sunlight hits them, but as you guys gain speed, you start to break away a little bit as they are pouring out the front and they are carrying their way towards I your vehicles. My gun. For just another moment, until you guys hear a massive explosion. You see a flash of light, you see dust and rock and debris spraying everywhere. Uh, you see a couple, you see uh, rocks flying through the air, stonework. 
Uh, you see a couple of the creatures go flying, and then your vision is obscured by dust and smoke as you guys, as your truck continues to tear down this dirt road as fast as you can reasonably go away from Motley Hill Sanatorium as the explosion rips through the morning air. And I believe that is where we are going to pick up next time. Hey everybody, it's me, Alex, your keeper of arcane lore and bringer of bad news. Yeah, that's right, your keeper bringer of bad news. Uh, not really bad news. Well, yeah, some, but it, it, it turns out okay in the end. Uh, here's some foreshadowing for you. Uh, well, first of all, uh, we need to apologize for getting this episode out late, you know. Uh, we try to stay on top of that and stay on our publishing schedule, but... Um, unfortunately, we had another pretty terrible medical emergency. Uh, Sam had a pretty uh, bad medical emergency, as I just said. Um, and he's doing okay, though. Now it was it was pretty crazy and pretty scary there for a minute. He had to go to the hospital. Uh, he's back home. He's recovering. He's doing well, but it's it's probably going to be a little while before he's back up on his feet and. Uh, running at a running at a hundred percent. So, um, so he's our you know he's a big part of the show. He's our primary editor for the episodes. So when he goes down, then uh, I got to jump in and and try to fill some big shoes there. Sam does an awesome job with all the editing. So. Uh, yeah. So sorry, uh, getting the episode out late. Uh, thank you everybody for all your support and well wishes towards Sam. We, we posted about it on social media for all of you that follow us on social media. And those of you that don't, uh, go follow us on social media. Uh, it's somewhat interesting. So, um, that first of all, uh, we're just happy that Sam's doing well and that he will make a full recovery and so that's awesome and we will keep going we're gonna keep going with we're gonna keep going with the show keep making episodes keep recording um as long as all of us can stay out of the hospital but i just need to stop saying that because uh i think i'm jinxing us and we are doing a little promotional thing right now for those of you who are signing up on patreon or those who want to sign up on patreon or those who are thinking about it or not thinking about it go over to patreon and sign up uh patreon.com slash the arkham files we're doing this little promotional where uh, anybody that signs up over the month of june uh you will be we will be sending you out uh, a, f a free sweet arkham files sticker with our new logo on it um uh, it's more like a decal too which it's like it's dishwasher safe you can put it on your car uh you can put it on your water bottles it's pretty sweet looks good looks snazzy you can slap it on your car drive around be a mobile billboard for your favorite podcast and yeah it's pretty awesome you know and that's aside from getting all the other cool stuff you get from signing up on patreon like you know our bonus episodes which you got a decent amount of those going and more on the way and being able to ask us questions that we answer when we record our uh, recap episodes. Uh, a lot of fun stuff. We, we do a lot of cool stuff over on Patreon. So go check it out. Get all that boni and help support your favorite show. Thanks for everybody who signed up recently. Uh, we have a bunch of shout outs that I need to do, um, which I can't actually get to on this episode. But don't worry, guys, we'll get to you. We're super appreciative for all you guys who signed up. It's really awesome. It's amazing how much the show is growing and, and how much everybody has been showing, showing their support. It means the world to us. Um, the shout outs, we actually already recorded them, but um, uh, we did it all together. Sam has the audio, and I, I um, haven't been able to get that from him, so we'll have to throw it in next episode. So look forward to that, guys. Don't worry, we haven't forgotten you. And yeah, again, thanks everybody for listening. Uh, thanks for being patient with us. And uh, yeah, I will catch you next time. Stay crazy, guys. Stay crazy.